Hey guys, my name's David and this is Fade Unbound. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you why I am getting rid of my old rely on lithium iron phosphate batteries and am swapping them out for these epic lithium iron phosphate batteries. Now I've had the old Relyons in my travel trailer for a little over seven years now. You know, we hit the road as full-time RVers back in 2017. And you know, over the years, these Relyons have served us well, but there are many reasons why we're going with Epics now. And I'm hoping that by sharing why I'm switching to Epics, it's gonna help anyone else out there looking at you know all these various lithium battery uh, manufacturers for RVs or marine applications or whatever. And you know. You can hear my reasons and hopefully that'll help you determine what brand to go with for yourself. So the main reason that I'm getting new batteries, period, is that I currently have two 200 amp hour 12 volt nominal lithium batteries for a total battery bank capacity of 400 amp hours. And it just through the years, it's never really been enough. And I just haven't really been able to not really afford but you know like talk myself into making the big expense um, to get like another 200 amp hour battery for 600 amp hours because um, you know i was always able to get by with 400 amp hours but it hasn't been until recently that big lithium batteries like these have become more affordable. And so before I get into why I chose Epic over the competition, I am just gonna read off a lot of the specifications of these batteries, just so you know exactly what they're capable of and exactly what batteries I'm talking about. So these are each 460 amp hours in capacity. And so with two, I'm gonna have a massive 920 amp hours total battery bank capacity. They each have a 300 amp max continuous discharge rate and a 500 amp surge discharge rate, 230 amp max continuous charge. They're dust and waterproof with an IP67 rating. They have internal heating for below zero degrees Celsius charging. You can connect to them using the Epic app on your phone using Bluetooth. They have Victron communications allowing the battery monitoring system to communicate directly with Victron products. They have overcharge and over discharge protection as well as overcurrent and short circuit protection. High and low temperature disconnects a lifespan of over 3,500 cycles, and an incredible 11 year manufacturer's warranty. And so getting into specifically why I chose Epic, the biggest reason, and I think a reason that's gonna resonate with a ton of people, is cost. Epic Batteries has, of the American lithium battery manufacturers, by far the lowest price that I've seen. These batteries come in at only 30 cents per watt hour. Battleborn cannot compete with that right now. Their cheapest battery that I've seen is over, is right around 72 cents per watt hour. So that's over, or that's nearly two and a half times as expensive as these. And then Relyon's not much cheaper than Battleborn. Uh, their cheapest battery that I've seen is uh, about 68 cents per watt hour. So yeah, that low price that Epic was able to achieve is just incredible. And they actually do have a line of batteries that don't have all the bells and whistles as these ones that I got, and they're even cheaper. I believe you can get those for about 22 cents per watt hour. So yeah, it's just crazy what Epic's been able to achieve price-wise. Another feature that was really big for me is they have a built-in on-off switch just directly on top of the batteries. And so it's really easy to completely kill the batteries. So if you're doing any sort of electrical work on your RV, uh, you can just turn the batteries off using that built-in switch. So you can safely do whatever, you know, electrical maintenance you need to do, or if you're installing or uh, uninstalling these batteries, or also if you're gonna be storing your RV for an extended period of time, you can just turn these batteries off so that they won't, uh, you know, any parasitic losses that's in your RV's electrical system won't kill these batteries over an extended period of time. Uh, I just think that that's a really neat uh, feature. I know you can achieve basically the same thing with a uh, just a quick, you know, a, a, a kill switch or a, a disconnect switch, but um, you know, I 
just thought that was a really cool feature to have built in. It's just one less thing that you have to have in your electrical system, one less potential point of failure. And then another massive reason I went with Epic is because these batteries have built-in Victron communications. And so it's super easy to tie these batteries in with a Victron system, and the BMS in these batteries will seamlessly communicate with your Victron system. Now, I don't have a Victron inverter yet. Uh, I still have my old Go Power inverter, which has no smart features, no communications features at all. And so, yeah, having that Victron unit that can uh, communicate with my batteries is gonna be really, really nice. And so, yeah, I'm just planning a huge overhaul on my RV's power system, you know, switching out the batteries, switching out the inverter. Um, and it's, it's gonna be really nice because right now my inverter, the converter charger, and the transfer switch are all separate units. Like I said, they're pretty old. And so getting a Victron system that's an inverter charger where all of those things are all in one that can communicate with the batteries is going to be so nice. And like I said earlier, these batteries are IP67 waterproof rated, and that's actually a big deal for me, despite, uh, you know, I'm not in a marine environment or anything. These are going in an RV, and I know that that waterproof rating is probably a lot more important for marine applications, but uh, in my pass-through where my batteries and my whole power system is installed, unfortunately, my water pump is right there, and so if I have any leaks, uh, crack in the water pump sprays water all over the place, which has happened, unfortunately. Um, you know, I know that, you know, these batteries are completely waterproof, and so that's not going to damage the batteries. If you, if you uh, also notice, my uh, inverter, converter charger, and transfer switch are built up onto, you know, pieces of wood, so any water that may collect there from a leak or a, bro a break in the pump, at least, isn't going to submerge those electronics. And uh, like I said, the uh, water pump has cracked and pumped quite a bit of water into uh, that storage bay before. And so I'm really glad that when I installed all those things that I uh, put them up on uh, blocks. But uh, yeah, so having the waterproof rating for the batteries is, is really nice also. Their size was a huge deal for me too because they're about 21 inches wide, eight and a half inches deep, and 12 inches tall. And so despite being over double the capacity of my current two 200 amp hour batteries, they basically have the same footprint because they're much taller than my other batteries. And so they're going to have a much more efficient use of space in that storage compartment there. Um, and so, yeah, I was really happy that these batteries were also very tall compared to a lot of the other uh, lithium batteries out there. Another feature these batteries have um, that I'm excited about that my old ones do not is there is a smartphone Phone app and you can connect your phone to the batteries and monitor things like the state of charge, the voltage, the temperature. You can even see what's going on with each individual cell in the batteries. It's pretty sweet. And then one last small little nice feature that these batteries come with are these mounting holes on the side. Um, you can use your own brackets, you can come up with your own way to mount these, but they do come with their own mounting brackets as well. And I just think that's really nice uh, because to secure my rely on batteries, you saw I've got this like perimeter of boards that I built around them. And then I keep them strapped down using ratchet straps and D rings. Uh, so I had to get creative on how to lock down my batteries and it's been like that for seven years. But uh, yeah, these batteries that come with their own mounting brackets, all of the mounting hardware you need. Uh, and I just thought that was a really nice touch. Now I've watched many videos on these batteries, testing their capacity, their rated output, and much, much more. And it looks like they deliver on all of their claims. The company is veteran owned, they are much less expensive than the competition, and they're just absolutely packed with features. So there you have it. That's why I chose Epic over all the others. And again, I really hope that this video was helpful, gave some insight into anyone out there that is, 
you know, making the big decision on what lithium batteries to go with in their RV. But my name's David, this is Fade Unbound. And again, I'm gonna be doing a whole install video of removing my old system installing these new batteries and a whole Victron system as well. So keep an eye out for that video. I'm super excited. 920 amp hours, brand new inverter. Oh man, this is gonna be sweet. Bye. Thanks again for watching guys. If you regularly watch these videos and you enjoyed them, then you know, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. I know that would make Sweetie happy. Wouldn't it, big girl, huh? Oh yeah, that would make you happy. <laughs> or, you know, please subscribe. That helps too.